Hey, Modern Thirst now has collector's coins available for purchase. To celebrate the end of 2019 and our sixth anniversary in January of 2020, we printed 100 specially designed coins. They're individually numbered and they make perfect Glencairn glass covers. If you're interested in purchasing, they're $10 each, including shipping. So to order them, you can go to modernthirst.com shop. And remember, there's, we only printed 100, so there's not a ton of these out there. We're also relaunching our Patreon site. If you join the coin club there, you'll automatically get new versions of our coins as they're released two to three times per year. And if you join the t-shirt club, you'll get the coins plus a Modern Thirst t-shirt twice per year. So check it out. Hello again, it's Bill Straub with Modern Thirst. This time we're kind of down in the dungeon where I do all the, the dirty work and the editing of the site and the uh, videos. Uh, but today I wanted to do another quick tasting for you. And this one is Bullets Single Barrel. Now, let me give you a little view of that. If you haven't seen these before, don't worry too much. They're fairly new. In fact, uh, this one is Westport Whiskey and Wine Selection here in Louisville, Kentucky. And I think they may have been the first ones to do a barrel pick. So um, I was pretty excited when I got this. And uh, I've tried this. As you can see, I've tried this before. So I'm not really a stranger to it. And I've been uh, been very impressed with it so far. Now, one of the worst kept secrets in bourbon over the last few years is that until recently, Bullet didn't have its own distillery. So their, their distilling was all contracted through Four Roses. And that comes through in the flavor. And Bullet says they have their own recipe and they very well might, uh, but it is a high rye recipe, which also is very common with Four Roses. And they are using Four Roses yeast, as far as I know. Regardless, um, it does have a certain character to it that I, I do get from Four Roses as well. It is a really nice bourbon, uh, however, and the barrel proof is one of my favorites along with the tenure they're both really good whiskeys um, but this one is a single barrel these are all uh, it's, it's their standard mash bill um, these are all 104 proof so 52 percent alcohol um, i guess they didn't want to intrude on the cast strength version that's why these are 104 i kind of wish they would let people do these private picks at 104 or at barrel proof i mean um, rather than 104 uh, but regardless um, this is a pretty nice whiskey so i'm going to get on to the tasting of it and this has been sitting in the glass for maybe 10 minutes, 5-10 minutes. I've had the, the Modern Thirst Collector's Coin um, covering it. Mm. Right away on the nose on this, there are, there's a lot of bananas. I get a little bit of uh, kind of a pie crust and breadcrumb. But yeah, it's kind of that bananas, banana pudding, almost a vanilla flavor. There's a little bit of that rye kick and a little bit of citrus note on the background. <clears throat> oh, no, it's pretty nice. There's, there's a little bit of oak in there as well. So um, we don't know the age of this. Um, we don't really know anything other than the, the proof and that it was a single, bar single barrel pick from Westport Whiskey and Wine. Um, to me, this is it's not a young whiskey. <laughs> and by today's standards, that means it's probably around four to five, six years old, if I had to guess. Uh, but there is some kind of sweet fruit overarching this. Maybe a little bit of cherry or and, and a little bit of, of ripe red apple, not green sour apple, which which you do get occasionally in, in more with wheat type of bourbons. But a little bit of fruit. Uh, but overall, it's, it's that banana note is, is really jumping out at me here. Let's get on to the tasting. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like that. That there's definitely a high rye uh, recipe here. Um, it's a very round, very viscous pour. This is um, it's a pretty good sip in, in regards to mouthfeel. On the palate, I get a little bit of that banana, a lot of vanilla, a lot of pepper, and a little bit of citrus around the periphery. A lot of oak. Overall, I, I would character, characterize this as a very spicy bourbon with a lot of sweet notes to it as well. Um, but those are a very, uh, a very creamy sweetness, a, a creme brulee. Um, I'm not going to use the M word, uh, but um, uh, creme brulee, vanilla, banana pudding, that type of thing, along with a black pepper spice with some citrus notes on it as well. 
It's actually really nice. I wouldn't say this has a particularly long finish, maybe in the medium range. It's, it's medium, medium long at, at best um, in terms of length, but it's a pleasant finish. You do have a, a little bit of barrel tannins on the on the uh, periphery of it as well, so it, that lends me to think this is probably a good five and a half, six years old at least. It's not too young. Uh, but you also get a lot of the black pepper on that finish. It, it kind of carries through in, a, in what I would call very typical of a bullet and, and even a uh, Four Roses type of profile. Um, Overall, I think this is a really nice bottle. Um, these are going to vary by every private pick that you get, and that's that's kind of the the whole uh, joy of, of getting private select barrels is that every one you pick is a little bit different. And you know, when you make a small batch ber version of, of anything, the goal is to blend different barrels together to, to get a consistent flavor profile. But with a single barrel, you know, two barrels that age in the same warehouse side by side can have very different flavor profiles. It's, uh, it's kind of a mystery as to why that happens. Um, lots of studies gone into it, but no one knows for sure. But regardless, barrels differ when you when you taste them side by side. So in this case, you're going to have a lot of similarities through all of them. They're going to have probably all going to have that, that high rye pepper kick to it, a little bit of citrus on the periphery. They'll probably have some barrel tannins if they're around the same age. Um, so some of the same general flavors are also all going to have the same yeast. Um, so some of the similarities are going to be there as well. Uh, but with a single barrel pick, you get a lot of variation within that. And in this case, it goes very much towards the banana on the nose and that vanilla and creaminess on the palate, which is really nice. Um, so if you get a chance to try these, I'd really like to know how these are coming out um, across the country and how you like them. If you've got, if you've got several different ones to compare, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, make some comments here on YouTube or go to our site at modernthirst.com and check that out as well. Make some comments there um, because I, I'd really like to hear what other people are thinking from different picks on this. This one is excellent. Westport Whiskey and Wine always makes excellent picks, which is why I buy most of my barrel picks from them. Um, so I expected nothing less from them. And this one delivered. Um, but please let me know if you like what we're doing. Check us out. There are challenge coins for sale on modernthirst.com slash shop right now. They're $10 a piece. That includes the shipping. Uh, or you can support us on Patreon and get them that way as well. Um, again, my name is Bill Straub. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, keep on drinking and cheers.